So I'm applying water and putting my colors into the water. And the nice thing is, is that like with watercolor, a lot of times you feel like you're putting too much in. Well, when you use acrylic, it's kind of neat to feel that there's a lot on your brush and then it just floats right in that water. So I think this can only help your watercolor. If, even if you're not an acrylic painter, uh, I would take a, a acrylic class like I did for like Gene Peterson and those guys and then the Kemp and Bob Burridge. So you can take their class and it taught me a lot about watercolor, even though I was like, using acrylics. Then the even then the Kemp even made her watercolors acrylic by putting the medium acrylic medium into her watercolors. That was very cool. It's just you know you can do that. You can make your watercolors acrylic by just adding medium to it. It's all water based, so you know it's all that it's you can act the same. It's really fun to be able to use it like watercolor and like acrylic. It's like you get it. Get so many more options of doing things. You can pull out. Now this is um, Stonehenge Aqua watercolor paper. So it's a white paper and I can, I try to use the white of the paper, but again, like I said, if I lose something and I don't get it right back, I can go back in there later and get it with the heavy bodied acrylic. I also have to mention that I'm not looking up at the questions. And so um, I'm not sure if um, Scott will be from Dillman, Scott and Stephanie and Sue and, um, and Denny all who are um, the operators and the owners of Dillman's, all in the family, they keep it all in the family. And um, and actually James there too, James um, helps out, Sarah, and they're all fun to be with up there or when you go up there during the week, but they make it so nice up there for you guys. But um, actually Scott is helping with the, hopefully the questions. If there's any questions, he may answer them or some of my students will answer. I will go back after this is all done and complete and I will go back and answer the questions. So if you do leave some questions there that are unanswered, I will go back there later and answer them, okay? I just, it's hard to do four or three paintings in an hour and answer questions at the same time. And hopefully I can tell you what I'm doing as I'm going along and which colors I'm using, kind of. All right, so we're gonna let that one dry. And so I got my darks in there. And now we're gonna go from this, which is the um, acrylic on Stonehenge, um, white to Stonehenge black. And this one is a dog. And we do this too in watercolor class. We do watercolor on this black paper, watercolor paper. It's black watercolor paper made by Legion. It's the only one out there. They don't make, they make black paper. A lot of people make black paper, but they don't make a uh, watercolor paper. This is hundred percent, um, watercolor paper. It's, um, with sizing throughout. So it acts just like the white, but it's black. And so people will say, well, how can you use watercolor on it? Well, you can use a watercolor on it. It's just that you're going to have to use white because there's no light in there. And so the colors that don't have white in them or are light are not going to be as bright, vibrant, right? So you're going to have to add white into your colors. But so um, it works really well with the um, black with acrylics too, but just as good as with um, watercolors. People think that you can only use it with um, acrylics, but you can use this black paper with, with um, watercolor too. I've been with um, um, Legion testing this out when they first invented it. And I was like, same way. I was thinking, well, how does that work? You know, how are you going to do that? But it works well. And so here now I'm putting in the background, which is my dark, <laughs> which is really weird because it's going to be dark. You watch, you know, I'm just, I'm putting in my dark areas and I just want to have some color in my dark though. So I'm applying it over like a watercolor though. I'm leaving it in there very fluidy. And if you want to see what kind of paper this is, just punch in Legion. Um, Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press Black. And that's what the, that's what I'm using. And look at this, I'm using some uh, acrylics that have metallics in it. This is a metallic paint. And so we'll have some fun with that. See, it's like, it's reflective. I'm not sure if you can see that on there. It's very, it's like, it's a, I should probably put the little thing right there. And so put using a little bit of metallic paints on this because it, it shines a little bit more because you're using, of course, black paper. Look at this. And now this I'm using a little bit thicker, but I kind of like to start out with a little bit more of washiness to it, but that doesn't mean you have to. I mean, I'm, I, I can do this heavy body. Like it was like a regular acrylic where you use it very thick. That's up to you. I try to use, I try to have you show you both ways. You know, when you take this class, you're going to try everything. You're going to try watercolor kind of technique. You're going to try the heavy bodied. You're going to try it all different ways. 
that's what's fun about this class. I just started this class up at Dillman's last year. The only one I do is at Dillman's for this um, all inclusive acrylics, four different acrylics. 